Hey, how's it going? I thought I would start a video lead-in. So we're headed to the Davis Mountain State Park Indian Lodge. Um, the travel or the ride up here is amazing, awesome views. Uh, it's about seven and a half hours from the DFW area. So uh, if you are gonna make the trip, definitely expect it to take a while. Um, we did pick up uh, my sister in Fort Stockton. So just this beautiful, beautiful views. So figured I would flex the new uh, Note 20 Ultra with the uh, new picture quality. I just kind of show you guys. Uh, Luke's definitely with us. Uh, he's having a great time. Uh, he cannot wait to get to the Indian Lodge. So he's gonna check it out. Uh, usually I rough it, and this is usually like a tent and uh, camping kind of thing. Uh, but this time we're going to the lodge. I was not able to secure any primitive camping out here, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, but I did get a spot in the lodge, so and I got uh, day passes for the park. Uh, we were really hoping to go to the McDonald Observatory, but again, that's really hard to get into. So if you guys want to get tickets to that, make sure you get them months in advance. Uh, we tried to join the waiting list, and the waiting list is also out. So can't wait to check out the Indian Lodge. Post it up. All right, we made it to the Indian Lodge. This place is looks amazing. I cannot wait to get in and relax. This is definitely a level of glamping this time, not a big, like, roughing it at all, but it'll still be great. So Luke is giving everybody his typical sass. Um, we found our spot. Pretty sure this is my cabin 225. Um, relatively, they weren't very expensive. It was like 100 bucks a night. Uh, not terrible. Um, I'm already gonna spend 30 bucks tent camping anyway. So, and they have Wi-Fi. So uh, I guess I gotta figure out the passwords. Get us all checked in, and then I will give everybody the walkthrough of the spot. It's actually kind of a good. I lucked into it, but it's on the end. We got a nice little table area that we'll probably take advantage of. Yeah, Luke says we're at the sunset. Yeah. I'm going. All right, so we're getting into the lodge. It has a key, not a credit card, obviously, I would assume so. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and give everybody the inside view. Oh, deadbolt. Deadbolt. Okay. Wow. All right, all right. Very nice. Very nice. Amazing views out of the window. Very rustic. Oh, cool. There's a CCC picture. No way. Awesome. So there are no fridges. That doesn't surprise me. There probably was a fridge, but because of COVID, I'm sure they pulled the fridges out. Makes sense to me, uh, but we'll find some ice. You have the luxurious bathroom. Lots of space. Okay. So, yeah, I'm stoked. Um, there's some really cool trails that are right by the parking lot and I'm gonna kind of explore the lodge and get some footage of that just so you can see. Try to keep this somewhat short. Uh, Chrissy's already got dibs on the, probably the best bed in the house, but we'll see. Peace. I wanna get the impression of Luke too, so let's see what he thinks. What do you think, Luke? Look out the window. 
Wow. How many kitchen kitchen? Uh, well, there's not a kitchen in here. Why? Uh, cause it's just a, a, a cabin. So he was disappointed about the kitchen, um, but little does he know, I have the camp stove, and um, he's got spaghettios and peanut butter and jelly for the rescue, for the win. Okay. I think, that's, I think that's where the ice machine is. So, found the ice machine. Anyone up here? Well, there's people probably up here. I'm not the only people staying. Hi! Hi! Can I go close now? All right, waking up in the morning, the Indian Lodge was awesome. This is the Montezuma Trail we're gonna take right now. Woke up, got some breakfast, tried to head out. Uh, we ended up getting another night at the lodge, which was super awesome. They extended our stay, so we'll be able to hit a ton of more trails. Luke's super pumped to hit this trail. Looks a little challenging, because we're gonna come up along the ridge. Uh, but I cannot wait. So Davis Mountain State Park is an amazing sight to see, especially if you're from the DFW area and you're just not used to hills um, and big mountains. This is definitely larger than anything we have to hike. And it looks like a lot of fun for bikers. A lot of nice uh, tent sites. Uh, we haven't seen the primitive sites, but we're gonna check that out and hopefully tomorrow I can hike up the Indian Lodge Trail in the morning and get a really cool sunrise. So. Okay, so, so far, Montezuma Trail, not too bad. Uh, definitely an incline. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see the car. It is right there. And so we're hiking up a little bit, but, Mary, that we're getting up to, absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're taking a break. What do you think of this uh, climb, Luke? Yeah, are you having fun? You're the trail leader? Where does the trail lead to? What do you... What do you think of the state park? Huh? You like it? Alright, we're headed out again. I think I'll do some more footage at the top. Right, we're still going up the trail. It pretty much peaks out 
once you get halfway up the mountain. And then at that point, you have a super cool, like nice breeze, even though it's hot out here. Uh, so it's, it's awesome. This is definitely a great trail to go on. Um, we're gonna check out the Indian Lodge Trail next, because that one has, uh, I'm gonna find out what Luke's doing, he's just chilling. I guess he's just chilling in the shade. Are you chilling in the shade? So he likes these little shade trees because he can pause, take a break, recharge. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hit the rest of this trail. I think we've gotten pretty close to the top. So, we're gonna keep going on this awesome family hike. All right, we hung a right to the headquarters trail and there's just more amazing epic views. Uh, these Davis Mountains are just, just beautiful. So if you do head up, make sure you hit some trails. Right, we made the bottom of the trail and we found this really cool uh, bird watching area. I'm trying to be quiet because there are people in the bird blind. Uh, so if you do go up to there, make sure you're not screaming and yelling because it will scare the birds and we're sitting there waiting for them. Uh, we're not going to go in the bird blinds now because there's somebody already in there and we want to respect the six feet distance stuff. And so, but this trail is awesome, really, really fun. At the very bottom, there's a bird watching area and an interpretive center that is currently closed right now, but you can still kind of check out the outside. Luke's having fun. We had a great time on the trail. This breeze is just a huge blessing. You know, it's hot out here, but with the breeze, it's nothing. Uh, we're gonna hit up some more trails uh, today and have a really good time. Uh, I did take a picture of the bird species that are in here for the state park, so I will post that in the comments for you to look. I'll post a 108 megapixel version, so while you're hiking, if you see these birds, you can kind of keep an eye out for them. All right, we're headed up to Skyline Drive. Should be super awesome. Uh, no hiking on this one uh, because uh, we just drive your cars up. So if you want to get a good scenic lookout, Skyline Drive's awesome. We're gonna check it out in the morning. Uh, and get the sunrise. All right, so we're headed back down to the car for a detour. Luke has to have a bathroom break and issues <laughs> on our trip so yeah scenic overlook is awesome and there's a really killer trail that cuts to the back so you can uh, hike the whole thing too so you don't have to drive up here if you're feeling a little more adventurous um but yeah i could probably stay up here for hours literally just enjoying this all right quick pit stop at the ccc scenic overlook um you know me i'm a total nerd for these buildings it just amazes me that they've been built in the testament of time and have stood here for about 70 years now. So, just amazing. So yeah, this is amazing. We're having a blast. Uh, anybody that's thinking about coming out here, just do it. 
Uh, there's a cool little trail that leads to the top of that valley right there. It looks really, really fun. Definitely be fun for hiking. And again, this is your shot. Definitely come out here and take a look. Definitely All right, looks like the interpretive center is still open, which is kind of cool. We checked on it, so there is a restroom there, so hopefully we're saved. Um, but yeah, it's got another little uh, bird line area where they've got lots of little bird feeders. Uh, looks pretty awesome. Wow. Luke. Luke seems to approve, so we're gonna go check out the inside. Yeah, why don't you show me? a show? Yeah. Let's go look. Oh, cool. They have a nice little interpretive center. There's some quails, some seeds. Look, bird books. Wow. So. Fantastic little area in here. It's got to be just quick with these birds. There's all indoor bird area, so sure if it's sweltering. Yeah, cool interpreter center. Check it out. All right, so pit stop at the cabin and we went to the Bear Lodge kitchen or cafe and uh, food looks amazing. We got a nice little veggie burger right here and then we got chicken fried steak. Chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken. That's what I'm talking about. That looks like some really good food. So uh, if you are here uh, and you want to get food at the Bear Lodge, they're only doing takeout right now. Um, they're not, you know, can't dine in, but if you have a room, you can dine in your room, and I'm sure if you're staying uh, just anywhere on the campgrounds, you can call in and put in your order. They're real quick, and so it's awesome. All right, so we are doing the Skyline Drive Trail. The trailhead is right by the Interpretive Center, which... So, restrooms are closed on the trail, so make sure you do your business there at the uh, Interpretive Center. But I think we're gonna be fine. So this is gonna be a three hour trail. All right, so we're making it on the trail. They have these cool little crossings. We're looking at a very dry creek um, behind us, so really no water features right now. I don't even know when there is a lot of water in this region, because when we went to Lost Maples, there was almost no water. Um, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully sometime when we come out here, it's, it's got some water. So in the spring, we're going to want to come out here when there's all kinds of rain, hopefully, in this desert region. Okay, moderate trail definitely defines this one. There's nothing super steep, but it's gonna be a little bit winding. I'm gonna get some footage at the top, but so far, awesome spot. All 
right, so the weather's getting a little sketchy. So we are getting out of here. It is definitely uh, raining over there, for sure. And this is what we're looking at right now, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get moving. We still have about a mile left. So, yeah, we gotta actually see some water in the creek. Uh, well, looks like the uh, rain just went right past us. Didn't even get wet, so pretty high hopes for the trail. Still super windy uh, and cool, but that's a huge blessing right now, considering everything. The rest of this trail gets pretty rough. Um, we got to the top lookout point where we drove to earlier uh, via hiking, which was a lot cooler than driving. Uh, if you're into the hiking thing, amazing scenery. And the trail's not too hard. Make sure to bring some water. And we're already a fourth of the way through, so we're a little bit slower, trying to decide to pick up the pace a little bit. If you go with a good pace, you could probably get a mile and a half an hour. So just keep that in mind. It's usually about two miles to an hour if you keep a steady pace, uh, considering there's inclines and stuff. So, but this is going to be an awesome trail. Can't wait to get to the CCC point. Uh, and especially come back here and post the footage of the sunset. So, again, definitely worth coming out. This area is beautiful, majestic, and what's not to love. All right, we made it down to the CCC Trail. So this is much calmer. So if you want to calmer up and down, I would definitely recommend the CCC Trail. Um, the trail's a little rough, not super uh, well maintained, but uh, it's nowhere near the ups and downs that you get. So, awesome time still. Probably put some footage up later of the sunset that we're gonna check out. Um, and this is pretty much the entirety of the trail. Okay, so we made it the end of the hike. There's the car, the beautiful car. So four and a half mile total hike. We got it done in 2.17 hours. So not a bad pace, I would have to say. But we definitely took some stops along the way. So very doable. Definitely feeling it a little bit in the calves, but I think we're gonna relax for the rest of the day. So should be easy. If you have a chance, CCC Trail, Scenic Overlook Trail, totally worth it. So I saw this sign for the largest reptile collection. Uh, so I'm kind of a sucker for looking at snakes. So there's a small town just outside the state park uh, with a giant grocery store, all kinds of stuff. It's great for s'mores. They got wood, everything. So really easy to get to uh, if you still need some supplies from the state park. So definitely check this spot out. Uh, we're gonna go for the $15 tourist trap, uh, but it looks like a lot of fun. So check it out. Look, what do you think about this? Edge and that's, uh, 
is what will cause them to feel the need to rattle it more. Oh. 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 You scared him. That was you know, epic. Usually, uh, that was usually pretty good for me. Guys, look! Guys! He is definitely ready to If this thing strikes and I drop my phone, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> he can't get you through the glass. Oh, look, this one's shedding. Yeah. Oh, it's shedding right now. Yeah. Shedding? What's shedding? Yeah, look, he's pulling his skin off. Oh, he's, he is not happy. He can't rattle because it's rattles stuck in his skin. Can you, um, what do you think of this, Luke? You, can you pick me up? Yes, sir. <laughs> right, so we made it back to the scenic overlook on the CCC trail. And uh, Chrissy's being, Chrissy's definitely being sassy. Bye. Luke's going to be sassy, but I think that if you make it out here, definitely make some time to make it all the way up here to check out the sunset spot. This looks stunning as it is. And I'm sure that it is only going to look better and brighter as the sunset closes. If I get some really cool colors, I'll definitely post that in the video as well. Um, yes, sir. Okay, but yeah, it's a really, really cool spot. Kind of like a little circular deal. Made by the CCC, Chrissy's still being sassy, but just perfect spot for a uh, 360.